I love maximalism. I love the look of it. I love the design aesthetic. But the reality is, sometimes we love maximalism, but we want a more minimalist approach to it. So today we're going over how to get a minimalist, maximalist interior space. Sounds like an oxymoron. I know, but we're going to make it work. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so what is this crazy cohesion, minimalist, maximalism style that I'm talking about? So this design approach combines the clean simplicity of minimalism with that bold and that richness of maximalist style. So this will result in hopefully a visually striking and very harmonious space. Okay, so when we're thinking about the style, we got to focus a little bit on what is minimalism to be able to understand how we coordinate this and merge this with maximalism. So minimalism is all about simplicity, clean lines, and decluttering. So we're going to start by creating a minimalist base. So think about a neutral color palette, streamlined furniture, and open spaces. This will set the foundation for how we build in our bold and expressive elements of maximalism. So once we have our minimalist foundation with some of our key elements in the space, we want to now bring in those bold colors, patterns, and textures to really create the visual interest and focal points. So it's really about finding that right balance and trying to exercise some restraint around overwhelming the space and really over cluttering the space. The key takeaway from a minimalist maximalist interior is to think less is more, but the less is more substantial in that it's maximalist in aesthetic. So one thing that we really need to focus on when we're thinking about our minimalist maximalist space is thinking about how we're gonna layer in our space. Being able to pattern layer is really one of the key elements of this look. So thinking about mixing patterns such as florals, geometrics, and abstract designs to create a dynamic and visually stimulating place will help with the maximalist side, but then to keep it with the minimalist side, we wanna think about a cohesive look. So thinking about keeping a common color palette as that unifying element between those mixing of patterns. So a great way to merge these styles is through our accessories. We want to think about incorporating eclectic pieces. So think about things like vintage finds, unique artwork, statement accessories to really add that personality and depth to the space because that's what we love in maximalism is lots of personality and a story. So we want to display and arrange these collections thoughtfully to really create a visually appealing and meaningful composition. But again, we do want to curate this in a way that it's not overwhelming to the senses because we're still thinking about that minimalist aesthetic with the maximalist visual appeal. Just a brief pause here. If you're enjoying the content of today's video, please don't forget to hit that like button below as well as subscribe so I can see you next week in another video. So when we're thinking about a minimalist maximalist space, we do have to really focus on balance. Balance is absolutely crucial to making this work. So you need to think about scale and proportion to create a visual flow, a harmonious visual flow through your space. We want to balance larger statement pieces with more delicate ones to avoid overcrowding and creating a sense of balance within the space or equilibrium. So you want to think about limiting the items say on a bookcase to a few interesting statement pieces, but not like a maximalist space where we just do more is more. You still want to go with that less is more, but with the more maximalist aesthetic. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so like many looks, textures and materials are going to really up level your feeling of your space. In minimalist maximalism, this will also be really important. 
So we want to think about incorporating a mix of textures. So think about smooth surfaces, plush fabrics, metallic accents, and natural elements to really create a visual contrast and tactile interest. I think that's a key word when we're thinking about maximalism is that interesting tactile approach to having multiple different types of finishes throughout the space. But you do want to create and combine materials that contribute to the cohesiveness, which is where the minimalism comes in. So thinking again about similar tones on tones, but in different materials and tactile experiences. When you're thinking about your minimalist maximalism space, you do want to think about infusing your personality into that space. I feel like that's what makes a space just feel really well done and being able to have that story where you incorporate your interests and your preferences into the design and it really will make it a lot more meaningful and reflect your individuality. I love the juxtaposition between minimalism and maximalism and I actually went into a whole video about minimalist versus maximalist, which one are you, in this video here. So jump on over and check that one out next. Bye!